This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. EPO 9 News. Thank you for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Tamika Artis, and here's a look at some of today's top stories. Cincinnati firefighters were called to an early morning house fire in Elmwood Place. It started just before 3.30 on McGregor Avenue and spread to two nearby homes. Investigators say the homeowner had been taken to the hospital earlier this morning, and his house caught fire about 90 minutes later. Two people facing charges this morning following a shooting last night at Springfield Township Bar and Pursuit along I-75. The shooting happened at Lulu's Tap Room. Investigators say the suspect sped off with officers trying to pull them over on I-75. The suspects crashed at the I-74 interchange. Both were injured in that escape attempt. Cincinnati police are investigating an early morning shooting in downtown Cincinnati. It happened at a parking lot at 4th and Elm right near the Duke Energy Convention Center. Officers tell us that one person was shot, but there is no word yet on that victim's injuries. And members of the Tri-State's Jewish community will be delivering food today to local families in need. The Passover delivery project is in its 23rd year. Organizers with Jewish Family Service say volunteers and staff will pack and deliver kosher meals to more than 500 vulnerable and homebound individuals and families. Passover begins at sundown next Saturday, March 27th. Jennifer. Well, good morning. Plenty of sunshine will be here in the Tri-State today, and oh, what a beautiful Sunday it gives us. But it's not just the sun, it's the warmth, guys. So by the time we get to the noon hour, we'll be, at, be in the low 50s. But 3 o'clock, 63 to 65 degrees here across the Tri-State. Even the wind is light. The only caveat to all this, you know it's going to be high today. Pollen levels very high here in the tri state in the next couple of days. Um, the way things are shaping up will stay in the mid to upper 60s for several days.